Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to my How to Build series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build five simple doorless doors. Now, what do I mean by a doorless door? Well, Minecraft gives you seven traditional doors that you can build with. I have them all set up right here. However, we're not going to be using any of these doors whatsoever. We want to use, well, an unconventional door. We want to use resources that we have stacked up in our world because we have nothing else to use them well for it. <laughs> so here I have all five of the doors. Now the fourth one, a lot of you should know already because I've shown about two or three other times, but I felt like it fit this video so well, I just had to add it. And hopefully you know what that one is. If you don't, then that's absolutely fine as well. That's just great because now you're gonna learn a new door. Now before we jump into all five of these doors, I'm just gonna give you a heads up. The first one over there on the left hand side does not work in pocket edition. All the other ones work absolutely fine. The only reason why that one doesn't work is because we're going to be using a jukebox for it, and those don't exist yet in Pocket Edition. So let's go ahead, jump right into these. I'm going to be going from the left-hand side to the right. When the name swipes in, it will have a timestamp underneath it. So if you want to skip any of the other doors, go right to the tutorial for the door that you want the most. Go ahead and do that. If you want to watch them all, that's absolutely fine. That's great for me. So let's go ahead and jump right into these. Now, during my intro, I kind of spoiled this door. It's going to be a jukebox door. The only way to open it up is by playing music inside of a jukebox. So where is our jukebox? Well, it's actually very really easy to get to our jukebox. All we have to do is just till the ground right here. So we're going to till the ground, and there is my jukebox right down there. So now all I have to do is just add in a record. So right here, I have Music Disc Cat. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my jukebox, and boom, my door opens up. I get a nice little tomb while I'm walking in as well. And then when I want to get my record, all I do is come right here, click the jukebox again, and I will get my record back, and the door will close up. And then when I'm ready to leave my door, I don't have to add the music disc back. All I have to do is just click the button and walk right on out. Now, when you till the ground, make sure there's no water around this or it will stay tilled forever. So we don't want that to happen. So when you're doing this door, make sure there's no water around here just so it doesn't stay tilled forever. And of course, if you want to, you can just, you know, stamp it out and it should go away by just jumping up and down on it. But let's go ahead and do it. Just do it one more time. So till the ground, go ahead and add our music disc to our jukebox. Boom, opens up the door, come inside. Click it right here like that. It will give us back our music disc. And then go ahead and click the button to leave it. And that's going to be the first door, the jukebox door. Next up on our list, the second one's going to be a minecart in some transparent blocks. Now, the great thing about glass is it's a transparent block. So if we get in a minecart right there, we will not take damage because we can breathe inside those blocks. If you place those blocks there, you would suffocate and, well, die. So how this door works is we're going to get into our minecart. And then some pistons are going to go up back there, blocking us from getting into the other side. So if I go in here, bloop, as you can see, those block up. So if I get out of the minecart, we're just going to be on the side that we went into the minecart. And that's a no-no. We want to go to the other side of the door. Now, this is very easy to do. All you have to do is just go into crouch mode and then get inside the minecart and boop like that. And now we are on the other side of the door. There we have it. Now, all we have to do to get back into the other side is just get in the minecart, get out of it, and then go on our merry little way. Now, the main reason why I had to use the uh, pistons is due to the mechanics of minecarts on the console. However, when you do, when you build this on Pocket Edition, guys, it's going to be so much easier on Pocket Edition, so much easier on PC, because on Pocket Edition and PC, all you have to do is get in the minecart, hold four, get out of it, and you'll just go the direction that you want to go in. But that's going to be the minecart inside of a glass door. Now, third on the list is actually one of my personal personal favorites on this list and that's a cobblestone generator door now if you don't know what a cobblestone generator is well it generates cobblestone <laughs> that's what it does so if I break this block right here boop it's just gonna keep generating cobblestone forever no matter how many times I break that block it's just gonna keep coming back and coming back and coming back so what I decided to do with a cobblestone generator is well make it into a door so all we need to do is stand on this pressure plate break our cobblestone there we have it guys a nice little doorway so now we can just walk right through it to the other side look at all this cobblestone i get <laughs> and then i'll just generate back once we get off it same thing with this side now when we're going out of it though it will generate one extra cobblestone and then we're just gonna have to break the other two like that i couldn't do nothing about it and i just wanted to keep the resources as low as possible for building the doors and now we can just go ahead and walk right on out and the cool thing about this door is well what happens if you're in the need for cobblestone <laughs> if you need a lot of cobblestone all you do is just stand here all day and just keep mining cobblestone forever don't know how much cobblestone you are going to ever need inside of minecraft but if you need a cobblestone generator and you need a door well there you have it now you have a cobblestone generator and you also have a door now number four on the list is one of my old time favorites and i've done it on my channel maybe two or three other times and that's the invisible door the reason why i'm adding it to this video as well as one maybe people haven't seen those videos i have a thousand videos on my channel so it's kind of hard to find them two it fits the bill guys it's called the doorless door it's an invisible door there's no door there so it's a doorless door <laughs> so right here if we try to walk in boom we can't walk in it's invisible there's nothing there but we can't walk through however when we click this button right here boop we can go ahead and walk right through now the cool thing about this door is if you don't if you've never seen this door before it's the easiest one to build out of all these completely it's so simple it's crazy how simple this door is so just click the button and walk right on out however if we don't click that button we cannot get 
inside of our invisible door and then last but not least number five on the list is probably going to be the hardest door to build i always like to keep the hardest ones for last and that is a well i guess a simple lava door it's not too crazy to build but it's definitely the hardest one to build out of all the other doors here so all we have to do is just walk right here and then jump up hit those tripwire hooks and then just walk right through and there you guys have it so i'm gonna go ahead and do that in first person as well so jump up and then just walk right through our lava so you know if any like creepers or monsters are trying to chase us they'll just fall into the lava and die <laughs> but for us all we have to do is run jump get rid of our lava and then walk right through the door so you guys have it that is all five doorless doors if you notice when the names are flying through underneath them were timestamps for when each door was going to start so if you want to go back and check them again just to make sure you have the right one also like i said with the first one that does doesn't work on pocket edition you know you just save the video for later maybe put it in your playlist so when jukebox come out if you don't remember you just come back to this video it's a very easy door to build so we're going to be starting from the left hand side and working our way to the right so let's do this thing guys so the first door up on our list is going to be the jukebox door now for this door we're going to need a five by two spacing and we're still going to have to dig down one now that red stain clay block is the exact spot in where your jukebox is going to be going now the resources you're going to need for this build are two sticky pistons one redstone comparator one redstone repeater one redstone torch two redstone one button one jukebox one grass and one hoe to till the ground so once you got your five by two spacing dug down your one and gathered up your resources come to the bottom right hand corner and we're going to place our jukebox right here in the corner next up we're going to take out a block of choice you will be able to see this when the door opens up i'm going to be using dark oak wood planks i'm going to place it right to the left hand side of our jukebox then coming out of our block of choice we're going to place a redstone comparator going that way and now we can test it out to make sure our jukebox is working so go ahead and take out a music disc of your choosing and go ahead and place it inside your jukebox and as you can see the redstone comparator came on so let me go ahead and take that out because i don't want to hear the music anymore but as you see when we put it in boop it comes on when we take it out it goes off next up in front of this redstone comparator we're going to place in a piece of redstone with a block in front of it a redstone torch on top of the block a block on top of the redstone torch next up go ahead and take out your sticky pistons and place them facing towards the jukebox from the redstone torch and the block above the redstone torch now what we're going to do is take out some block of choice these are going to be the blocks for your walling i'm going to go ahead and just use some dark oak wood for my walling as well so i'm going to place in two blocks of dark oak wood right there so now when we place this in boom the door will open up and when we take it out the door will close now it's time to place in our button so we're going to swing over here to this side and then right next to this piston we're going to place in a block place a button off the block swing to the backhand side of it place a block up with a repeater coming out of the block with the button on it so when we click our button boop the repeater comes on place one piece of redstone down here with a block in front of your repeater and that's going to let us open up the door from the inside so now last but not least just place a slab right here next to your jukebox and then go ahead and just place another block right here so when we're walking out of our door boop you can go ahead and walk out of it just like that so now what we're going to go ahead and do is just pull out our grass block so i'm going to take out my grass block and place a grass block right here in front of the jukebox i'm just going to place in a few more around it as well just so it can regrow its grass after we till the floor and then we're going to go ahead and take out or uh, whatever kind of diamond hoe, you know, iron hoe, whatever you really want to use. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a diamond hoe. And then we're going to place a block above our jukebox so we can't see our jukebox anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly, let's go ahead and just use dark oak wood again right above the jukebox. So now we can't see our jukebox. So I'll till the ground. There's my jukebox right there. And now all we need is one of our music discs. So bloop, it will open up our door. Walk into this side, come down here, make sure you grab your music disc back like that. And then click the button to open it up and get out and hope oh, our music disc went all the way over there because i didn't fill in the wall so i'm gonna go ahead and just quickly fill in my wall just a tiny bit more like that so there's my wall right there and let's fill it in like that as well so we'll go ahead and do it one more time so i'm gonna go ahead and take out my hoe till the ground place in my music disc walk into my secret little base come down here grab my music disc back next up just click the button and walk right on out now like i said in the beginning make sure you have no water around here so it doesn't stay tilled forever and if you do decide to put water here just make sure you just stamp it out like this so it can regrow the grass and so no one knows anything is there second up on the list is going to be the transparent door so for this build we're going to need a three by two spacing and we're also going to have to dig down two now that red stain clay block is the exact spot and where our minecart's going to be going now the resources we're going to need for this build are three sticky pistons one piston one block of redstone two redstone one stone pressure plate one minecart one rail one fence and two glass blocks so once you have your three by two spacing and dug down your two gathered up all your resources we could start on this build now pocket edition people do not build this 
do not build this wait till the end i'll show you a very simple way to build this on pocket edition you're just wasting your time by building this whole entire thing so what we're going to start off by doing is placing in our minecart first we need to know which direction we need to have this thing going in so right here off the red stained clay block so we're going to come to the bottom left count over one and then up one and then place our fence post right here then on top of the fence post go ahead and place in your stone pressure plate and then right above that stone pressure plate we're going to place in a block with a rail with the minecart and then break the block and let the minecart fall right on top of that next up place a block on both sides of your fence posts like this with redstone on top of both of them now what we're going to do is before we add in our sticky pistons before we add in our sticky pistons and all that good stuff we're going to go ahead and take out our blocks of choice and just place blocks of choice right here and right up here like this and then we're going to place in our glass block as well now if you can't place in your block of choice like that then you're gonna have to push it in with a piston so what i want you to do now is push in your glass blocks so go ahead and take out your glass blocks and we're also going to need our piston and our redstone block for this part so to place in our glass blocks well our bottom one we have to place in a glass block place in a piston facing towards it like that and then just send power to it and that's pretty much what we need the redstone block and piston for you can go and pick those up and keep them you don't need them anymore and next up go ahead and place one more glass block here and then place some more blocks of choice just wrapping around the entire glass wall like that now the reason why i want you to do this first before we add in the sticky pistons is because it works different in different uh directions my cards have always worked that way on console they always change it depending on which direction you are facing in the world so what i want you to do is get inside your minecart and then get out of it and figure out which side you pop out on so as you can see i'm popping out over here on this side so just figure out what side you are popping out on so whatever side you are popping out on is the side you're gonna have to put in your sticky pistons I'm just saying that again whichever side you pop out on whatever side you come out on so i came out over here on this side so this side over here is where i'm going to be placing in my sticky pistons so what i'm going to do now is dig down one two one two one two and then right next to all these blocks just place in my sticky pistons and then place my blocks of choice on top of it so whatever side you just popped out on make sure you place your sticky pistons on the side that you popped out on so when i come in here boom they go up so i fall out on this side however if i go into crouch mode and get in i'll come out on the side that i popped out on and that's how you guys build that door so just make sure when you get out put it on the side that you popped out on now for pocket edition people hopefully you did not build this thing i mean i guess you could have i don't think it will work the same way as console but guys it's so much easier on pocket edition it's ridiculous all you're going to need on pocket edition now so let me go ahead and get rid of all literally they have it so much easier on pocket edition all you're going to need on pocket edition is a slab so we're going to take out a stone slab so just dig down a block place in a slab then we're going to just place a block right above it with our rail so place a block above it with your rail place your minecart let it fall into place now all you have to do is just push our glass block into the minecart like this so activate your piston pushing the glass block in put the glass block here and then just wrap it around and you're done that's it that's what pocket edition people did that's all you need to do so now if you want to go out on that side over there you just get in the cart and then get out looking that way and you'll come out on that side and then if you try to go this way and just look that way you'll just come out on that side as you can see i'll still pop out on this side but on pocket edition you'll just get out the side you're looking at and it's that simple on pocket edition hopefully you didn't build that one because it's just so much easier on pe and probably pc as well might do the same thing on pc as next well. up the third door on the list is going to be the cobblestone generator door so for this door we're going to need a three by five spacing and we're also gonna have to dig down three now that red stain clay block is the exact spot and where our cobblestone generator is going to be going now the resources you're going to need for this build are one piston one redstone comparator one redstone repeater six redstone two stone pressure plates make sure they're not wooden make sure they are stone we're also going to need one furnace one water bucket and lava bucket one piece of obsidian and one shovel so once you have your three by five spacing dug down your three gathered up all your resources we're going to start off by building our cobblestone generator first so we're going to swing down here to the left hand side and count over one block one and then count up three blocks one two three placing a piston right here facing upwards off our red stained clay block now to the right hand side of this piston is going to be our water and to the left hand side of it is going to be our lava so to place in our water what we're going to do is dig out this one block right here and then place two blocks right here one two and then place your water right here and it should flow down just like that now to place in our lava on the left hand side we're going to place a block up right here next to the piston and then two up here one two and then place your lava right here and that should create your cobblestone generator so there is my cobblestone coming to life thanks to our cobblestone generator so now what we have to do is just hook up redstone to make this thing keep pushing cobblestone up forever so now to make this thing work what i want you to do is come to the backhand side of it and we're going to place a furnace off our piece of cobblestone that has been created go inside our furnace and place in that wooden shovel in here 
Then we're gonna swing to the other side of our cobblestone, place a block down here, and coming out of our cobblestone, we're gonna place a redstone comparator going that way. As you can see, the redstone comparator came on because the wooden shovel's inside the furnace. If I take that wooden shovel out, notice the comparator over here. If I take it out, bloop, it goes off. And then if I put it back in, it comes on. Off, on, off, on. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is go to your comparator and we're gonna set this to subtraction mode. So left click it, so that little front part comes on. See how that little front part came on? Make sure that little front part is on because we need it in subtraction mode. Then in front of our comparator, come out two blocks. One, two. Take out your redstone and place three redstone right along here. And now you can see that it will be pulsing on and off, on and off, on and off forever. What this will do is update that piston right down there. So we're going to come down and block right here with redstone. Now before we add this in, it's going to just keep creating cobblestone forever. And we don't want that. We only want it to go up at least three blocks from the floor. So right here is my floor. So I need it to come up at least two more blocks from here. So one, two right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in one more piece of cobblestone right here. So go ahead and take out your cobblestone. Add a piece of cobblestone and then add your obsidian block there. Now, what that will do is the obsidian block will keep it from generating cobblestone up 12 blocks. We don't want it to go that high. If you want it to go that high, you can absolutely do that, but I don't see a point in that. So, we're going to go and break these blocks. So, now what we're going to do is add in our redstone right down here, and now we'll start generating our cobblestone. So, boop, boop, boop. And then once it hits there, it will stop generating it because that obsidian block will cut it off. Now what we're going to do is take out our blocks of choice for our floor. So I'm going to go ahead and just use uh, just normal. How about I just use normal stone? I have not used normal stone in forever. And then we're also going to need our stone pressure plates. Actually, then I don't want to do that because now it's going to be a different color. I'm just going to use quartz. I always use quartz. <laughs> so we're going to place a block of quartz or whatever block you want to use right here above this piece of redstone in front of our uh, comparator. And then place your stone pressure plate on top of it. Now what that will do is stop it from pulsing. See how it stopped it from pulsing? So now if I break this right here, boom, boom. It does absolutely nothing, but when I let it go, it will start generating our cobblestone once again. So that side is all hooked up. Let me go ahead and just add in this cobblestone right here to hide everything. I mean, uh, quartz, and then right here we can add in some stone. Let's go ahead and add some stone right here, and we'll add some stone to this side as well. Give it some uh, depth. So there you gave it some depth. So if I want to go into the door, click right here, break these blocks right here, and now I can go ahead and walk through my door. Now we're going to need to cancel it out on this side as well. So to do that, we're going to come down here and underneath our furnace, we're going to take out our repeater and place our repeater going that way into that piston right back there. Then right behind the repeater, we're going to place up a block, place a piece of redstone on top of it, take out our block of choice, and then place our pressure plate on top of that. So now if I break it on this side, I can walk out from this side as well. Now all I have to do is just clean up the area and guys, you are completely done. So we can walk through. It will start generating cobblestone once again. Boom and boom. And then when we want to go through this way, break it walk through and then like i said if you want to you can just stand right next to it and just generate cobblestone and make as much cobblestone as you want like i said i don't know how much cobblestone you possibly need but you can have an infinite amount of cobblestone so for number four we're going to be building the invisible door now i've been giving resource lists for all my other builds this does not need it this does not need a resource list all you're going to need is two buttons a piece of redstone a carpet and a fence that that's it so on top of this red block we're going to place in our fence next to it, we're going to place a piece of redstone take out our blocks for our door so i'm gonna go up like this with our door there we go there's our door boom boom so what's keeping us from going in is the fence so now all we have to do is place a carpet right above the fence place a button where our redstone is and boom there's our invisible door as you can see i can't walk into it however when i click this button right here bloop, i can now walk through my invisible door now if you're building this on pocket edition I recommend placing another piece of carpet here and another piece of carpet here because on pocket edition you actually do go up one little you go up a little bit with the carpets so you're actually going to get stuck on the carpet if you don't add in two little extra pieces of carpet right there for pocket edition people but if you're not on pocket edition you know just build it like this and boom there's your invisible door on to the next and now last but not least the fifth and final door is the lava door for this door you're going to need a six by three spacing and you're also going to, have to dig down two and that red sand clay block is the exact spot where we're going to be walking through our lava door now the resources you're going to need for this door are three sticky pistons one piston three repeaters seven redstone four trip wire hooks two string and one lava block so once you have your six by three spacing dug down your two and gathered up all your resources come to the bottom left hand corner and we're gonna count over three blocks one two three count up one block one and place a piston right here facing upwards then right above our piston we're gonna place another block with a repeater going into that block set to three ticks delay next up place a piece of redstone down from this piston with a block on top of it and then two blocks over from that one two and place in our other two repeaters going into that set the first one at two four ticks delay and the second one at two four ticks delay as well 
Then behind these repeaters, we're going to place in a block and then have redstone right here. And we're just going to bring redstone down to that repeater right down there as well. So come down a block and then just wrap it right in to that redstone as well. Next up, place a block right above this four tick delay repeater. And now we're pretty much going to make a T like this and then break the block right in the middle. Then going across all your, well, now it looks like a Y. So going across all three of these blocks, we're going to place in redstone. And then we're going to take out sticky pistons and place three sticky pistons right along here. One, two, and number three. Now right here, we're going to place in a block of choice. And on this side, we're going to place in a block of choice as well. And this is where our first two tripwire hooks are going to be going. Then we're going to place string off our tripwire hooks. And then we're going to come out two blocks from our string. So one, two, break the block and place in another tripwire hook here. Do the same thing on this side. Find your string. So there's my string right there. Come out two blocks from it. One, two, break the block and place in our tripwire hook here. So now if I hit the tripwire hook, boom, our pistons activate. Doop, doop. Our pistons activate. And that's exactly what we want. And if you want to, actually, we could switch out this block to a block of choice because you will be able to see it when you exit it. So let's go ahead and switch that over real quick. And now what we're going to do is place our blocks of choice in front of our sticky pistons like that. Oh, I just activate it. <laughs> so place it in front of your sticky pistons and place them around your piston as well right here like that. Now we're going to go ahead and add in our lava. So to add in our lava, just come up here and go all the way around like this. And then take out your lava bucket and place it right here in the middle. And that will make your lava flow all the way down to the end like that. There we go. So now when I come over to my door and I jump up, boom, lava goes away and I can walk through the door. And of course, we're going to have to add in a few more blocks on this side as well. And then we can hide up all of this redstone with our blocks of choice right here and right here. Let's hide up all of this right here. There we go. Hide up the redstone on this side as well. And let's kind of level it off so it looks a little bit nicer here and here. And that's it, guys. You are completely done. So if I walk up and jump, boom, opens up the door and walk through. Same thing on this side. Jump up, boom, walk in, and we are done, guys. Oh, let me go ahead and fix this up. This, There we go. <laughs> now it looks perfect. But there you guys have it. That is how you build five doorless doors inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.